Alright folks, final video for today. So how we doing? So right on. Uh, this was a bit unexpected. Perhaps totally expected to fix my hair here. <clears throat> Perhaps totally expected. Uh, U.S. State Department approves possible 2.2 billion arms sale to Taiwan. Well, hey, I hate China too, but this seems unnecessary. Uh, this is an article from Reuters. Uh, the U.S. State Department has approved the possible sale to Taiwan of M1A uh, 2T Abrams tanks, Stinger missiles, and related equipment at an estimated value of 2.2 billion. The Pentagon said on Monday, despite Chinese criticism of the deal, excuse me, China's foreign ministry said last month when the possible sale was first reported that it was seriously concerned about U.S. arms sales to self-ruled Taiwan, and it urged the United States to halt the sales to avoid harming bilateral ties. The sale of the weapons requested by Taiwan, uh, Taiwan included 108 General Dynamics Corps, M1-2T Abrams tanks, and 250 Stinger missiles would not alter the basic military balance in the region. The Pentagon's Defense Secretary Cooperation Agency had said in a statement. DSCA notified Congress on Monday of the possible arms sale, which it said could also include uh, mounted machine guns, ammunition, Hercules armored vehicles for covering uh, inoperative tanks, heavy equipment, transporters, and related support. Reuters reported last month that an informal notification of the proposed sale had been sent to the U.S. Congress. The United States is the main arms supplier to Taiwan, which China deems a renegade province. Beijing has never renounced the use of force to bring the island under its control. Uh, <clears throat> Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen said in March that Washington was responding positively to Taipei's request for new arms sales to bolster its defense in the face of pressure from China. The United States has no formal ties with Taiwan, but is bound by law to help provide it with the means to defend itself. Well, hey, as long as China doesn't get violent about uh, our selling arms there, we may not be causing a major international incident. But if they were being more threatening about it, then we might have to consider what we'd be causing if we continue with that deal, legal or not. Our actions have consequences. We're literally throwing stones into the pond and creating ripples through time. And uh, if China was being more violent and decided to react more negatively to our, uh, to our selling of arms to Taiwan, <sighs> sparks would indeed be flying. I think that's the last thing any of us would want on our conscience. But uh, Taiwan's defense ministry confirmed it had requested those weapons and that the request was proceeding normally. The U.S. commitment to providing Taiwan with these weapons, to Taiwan with these weapons to defend itself, helps Taipei's military raise its combat abilities, consolidates the Taiwan-U.S. security partnership, and ensures Taiwan security. The ministry had said last month in a statement. Now. If Taiwan wants to be um, independent from the rest of China, from mainland China, then I think that is their right, if they want to be uh, independent. I mean, we declared independence from the, Brit from, the, from the British. If we did it, so can they. And I think this is a relatively safe way to secure that, simply just sort of hanging back and selling them stuff, you know, not being too directly involved, I think is a very safe position, unless it was agitating, agitating China more than it is, which thankfully it is not. But this is probably one of the biggest sales to Taiwan we've ever made. We're looking at $2.2 .2 billion worth. I mean, how much did they say it was? This was uh, 108 General Dynamics Core... Uh, uh, 108 Abrams tanks and 250 Stinger missiles. That's not small, especially with the Stinger missiles. On the scale of Taiwan, that's actually very, very big. And I mean... It's certainly a land-breaking deal between us and them. Let's just hope this doesn't blow up into a bigger situation. Anyway...